So the Zenith card, the 48 BIR has been rebuilt and installed and I've still got an issue with it leaking fuel from around the float bowl and the main area I can see it is around here and probably a little bit hard to pick at the moment but it probably looks a little bit wet down around this area here if I can get to focus probably not but anyway it would always drip down here and I'd wipe it away and it would come back but I've figured out what it is there are lead in the drillings these are lead plugs which are hammered into the side and there are a number of these there's one here you see how that's shiny well that lead plug is a little bit loose so when petrol sits in the float bowl there which it's in there at the moment it leaks down the drilling and drips off the bottom of the carburetor there. And it's always done it and it's always annoyed me and I've never figured out what it was until about 10 minutes ago when I'm looking at it in the sun. I wiped it away and you could see the fuel glistening on that bit there as it would come back out. So, how do I fix that? So anyway, we'll give that little drilling bung a hammer. It should stop it weeping there. So here we go, the old hammer. We'll give her a tap and see if we can fix it. Let's just wait it out a little bit. Put some fuel on that, see if it comes right. So this is our Zenith carburetor. Float valve is pretty easy to put back on. You can squeeze it. All that plumbing's for part of the LPG system, so don't panic about that. So it just goes underneath here. Lift up the and get it to line up. There we go, and then we just drop the two bolts on the top and do them up with a screwdriver. And we'll start her up and see what happens. We have to crank it a bit to get fuel into the float bowl because we're now on a mechanical fuel pump. Have a look down on the side here, and I've got no fuel coming out there, so that's good. So that's fixed. It's taken me years to figure that out. Anyway, good things take time. There we go, folks. No more leaky fuel on the manifold because it used to get a bit pongy. As you stop over half an hour or an hour or four hours, it'll leak out the entire of the float bowl. Then you go to start it, and it's a bit difficult to start because a mechanical fuel pump has to fill up the entire of the float bowl. Thanks for watching. See ya.